Oh, man, this Raw 140 is a lower grade. I would say it's probably the name Sherry's written on it. Sherry? I have an Aunt Sherry. Do Does anyone really? have an Aunt Sherry? Because like, I, I know a handful of people with an Aunt Sherry. How, how does she spell it? S with an S. Yeah, this is a C-H-E-R-I. Different name. So it's probably a different person, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some numbers that we looked up on Mark Jewelers. They come up so sparingly that it's really tough to gauge the amount of value it adds having the ad. But when we looked up prior years of random grades, it seemed like it added upwards of $1,000 in the same grade compared to like the last time one sold. And with the market being what it is now, I could imagine it being a markup of over $1,000 in a mid-grade tier. I am sure as you go higher in grade, it becomes a higher multiplier too. I mean, if I see this in a 9-2, okay, I, I'm assuming that a Mark Jewelers 9-2 is more than just $1,000. Absolutely. So I could see it being multiples, um, maybe putting a 20% on across the board possibly mm -hmm. um, would probably maybe be a little more accurate, but it's hard to tell. And I look for more Mark Jewelers. I find those to be more of interest to me than a regular one. one so I'm sure many other people do as well. Butch in the house, he loves Mark Jewelers too. And it's a, it's a easy thing to add to the Hunt comic fam because I just described what I was looking at. You can see it from overhead. If you're hunting at a convention, if you're looking in lawn boxes, you have the time, take the extra second to give a overhead scan, an optical pat down, if you would, and see if you spot any colored lines on any of the comics because you may pull out a common book that has a Mark Jeweler, but if it's in high enough grade, that 20% could be 30 or 40%. Absolutely. 110%. There we agree. go. <laughs> We're talking percentages, comic fam. Hit the like, slap the subscribe. Do we have anything else in the stack that we got to talk about? Uh, let me take a quick look here, man. Uh, oh, by the way, the grade on this is probably going to be about a 3 0. 3 0. There we go. All right. Outside of just having this rougher copy with a big spine split. Yeah, you have a copy here, and it looks like the center of the comic was split all the way to about half the comic book length. Yeah, I have little notes on tape here. It says a 1.8, centerfold loose, spine split, cover tear, two of them, piece out back cover, page five. That is a whole <laughs> lot of information, yeah. Let's take a look at this sucker. Hey, I bet you can't wait to get your graders notes because they be free now over at CGC. So excited. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Is that more than one page that yeah, is, that is cut? It looks like there's more than, oh, wow. Yeah, okay, Comic Fam, it's not just the cover. It's like the first five or six pages. So Somebody thought about ripping this up, and they said, nah. It's like someone saw someone split a, a phone book, but then they realized, you know what? <laughs> I can't do it. It's too hard. This and, and when I say a person, I mean like a toddler, because it is a comic book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks like the tear is the biggest thing. Something about page five. Oh, maybe yeah. it's five pages in. Oh, five pages worth. I was yeah. close. I said six. Yeah, that's, that's still wrong. It's five. <laughs> it's, it's five. Okay. Um, uh, approximate estimator is my superhero name now. Um, <laughs> Approximator. <laughs> I, I, can, I can get you pretty damn close, but not quite there. Starting the auction off at $1 for one minute like we always do. This is one of our favorite covers, and you got it. A little bit of that, what y'all been looking for, right? A little bit of that, but what y'all been looking for, right? 